Okay, everybody, we're working through the quadratic functions and equations review. This is question 2C. We're looking to find the vertex, the equation, the axis of symmetry, and just a bunch of different things here. Now, this particular question or equation here, this is written in root form. Okay, so immediately I know that my x-intercepts here are going to be positive 1 and 3. Now, I write those out right away here because uh, I'm going to use those to find other pieces of the, the graph here. For example, I'm going to use this to find the vertex. I can tell right now, okay, because my x-intercepts here are 1 and 3, really what I've got going on here, if I want to think of it like this, uh, the parabola is opening like this. Here's 1, here's 3. Now, I know it's opening up because I can see that the, the leading coefficient here is 2, positive 2. Okay, my axis of symmetry is going to run, sorry, this is 3, right down the middle of those two. So my axis of symmetry is going to be the average of those two values. And the average of 1 and 3, conveniently enough, is 2. So my axis of symmetry is going to be the line x equals 2. Now, knowing that, I know that my vertex has got to be 2, comma something. So now let's just put that 2, okay, x equals 2. Now how convenient is that? Let's put that into the equation where x is. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 3 will be negative 1. And so my vertex here, when I multiply 2 by 1 by negative 1, I'm going to get negative 2. So there's my vertex. Okay. My domain is going to be all reals, just like it has been every other time here. And again, I'm using d colon to represent domain here. I use r colon for range. I know that this parabola opens up because the leading coefficient is positive, and the vertex is 2, negative 2, so this is going to be a minimum. So my range is going to be y is greater than or equal to negative 2. Let me just make sure that I'm getting everything here. Okay, now the y-intercept, what i got to do here is set x equal to 0. Oops, sorry, you can't see the y-intercept. But all i got to do here is set x equal to 0. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. And so my y-intercept here is positive 6. I'm just going to double check that I've got everything. I've got, uh, I needed the vertex, axis of symmetry, uh, domain and range, x and y-intercepts. And that's it. That's all we needed.